Hi, my name is Emily Bobulis. I'm in English 201 and I'm in Professor Drainus class. My topic I decided to choose was over-sexualization of women in media and advertisements. I felt that this topic has not been talked about that much, but it's starting to come around more, especially with our generation and how social media is very influential on our age. Media and advertisements have been used all over the world, and it's a way for companies to promote their products or anything they're trying to sell. Sexualization of women is the main way that companies use to persuade an audience in trying to buy their product. They think that men will be sexually attracted to these women to buy their products. While women want to look like the girls in the ad, and they think that buying the products will help them look a certain way or feel a certain way or give them the confidence they need. But most of the time it leads to many psychological and like mental and physical product problems. Companies almost all the time don't care about the emotions going through these girls and women being affected. They just want economic benefit out of it, which is the main reason why women are being injectified and no one's really talking about it. The next few images are advertisements that are used to persuade more of a male audience and they use sexualization to persuade them in a sexual way in order to buy their products. In all three of these ads, the Tom Ford, Budweiser, and Burger King, they use women's body parts, how girls look, or sexual gestures that are going to be given in order to persuade especially the male audience and gays, that they will be able to obtain girls in these bodies like this or get the sexual pleasure out of buying their product. Going off that, this is where objectification becomes into play. And men, once they see women use for their body parts and sexual gestures in these advertisements, they begin to think that these girls don't have feelings and they can treat women a certain way because of these advertisements. As mentioned before, women and girls viewing these advertisements can cause many physical, mental, and psychological effects on them. When girls, especially in our generation, when they view these advertisements, they see these perfect girls and buying the product the company is selling, they think that they'll make them look a certain way and most of the time it doesn't, and it leads to a lot of psychological and mental problems, thinking they don't look good enough or they won't please people. I personally have fallen for this trap where companies use over-sexualization to promote their product and try to get you to buy it by using these perfect, unrealistic girls. And a lot of times girls fall for it, and I feel that every girl can probably say they've fallen for a company's tricks which has led them in some sort of way to have a psychological problem, whether it be like they don't look good enough or they don't feel confident or they don't look like the girl in the picture, which can just bring a girl down. Along with the psychological problems, physical problems start to occur. In a lot of cases, eating disorders can occur because girls think they're not skinny enough, so they stop eating or excessive working out. They think if they work out, work out, work out, it will make them look at look like these girls. In reality, it won't because every girl is different because we all have different genetics. Victoria's Secret is a good example of this. The company uses girls that are described as having the perfect body to sell their underwear and bras. But realistically, when girls try them on, they're not going to have these perfect bodies like they described. Every girl's body is different. And so it's really negative to a, a girl seeing herself in the mirror, not looking like the models as they promoted. Some girls do experience this feeling of not feeling good enough or not looking like the girls in the advertisement. This doesn't always occur, but most cases, um, every woman has experienced this at some point, that feeling. Leading off of that, not all advertisements are used in a negative way. The ESPN advertisement is a very good example where athletes pose nude and take pictures as a way to show their achievements and what they have worked for all their life. And with all the negative effects of over-sexualized media of women in 
past advertisements, it's caused the ESPN of positive goal setting and goal achieving to be brought down negatively. The official name of the ESPN media is called the body issue, which promotes the nudity of these athletes who show off their goals like men. With that and the nudity aspect of it and the negative effects of other media using sexualization, it leads to negative effects, especially with men, how they perceive these. They won't be good enough to be like these people or look like them one day. Researchers have done studies and proven that everything said before is true, that there are many negative effects to over-sexualization over of women in advertisements and media with psychological, physical, and effects of men objectifying women and using them in sexual aspects. Researchers have done studies and proven that everything said before is true, that there are many negative effects to over-sexualization over of women in advertisements and media with psychological, physical, and effects of men objectifying women and using them in sexual aspects. Overall, we'll gain better knowledge and a better perspective, which will help encourage change and hopefully lead to a positive effect and a decrease of this negative over-sexualization 